going to show you very quickly these links just to tell you information that's available here that you can explore later. So this is the, the documentation website for, by Microsoft about Power Query. It's one of the information sources about Power Query. Also, what is Power Query? And then the, you have all advanced, for example, about connectors that we are going to see. All the information is here. And then you have, there's a place where you can find information about uh, the different functions, different features anyway. So the, just to let you know that this is available. Uh, connectors in Power Query, you will be able to see here, these are all the data connectors available at the moment, Access, Adobe Analytics, even Asana, for example, other third-party tools that allow us to use Power Query to connect to their data. SQL, Azure, SQL, all types of different connectors. It's just a never ending. There's Excel, that's, that's the, our focus today. Of course, CSV files. You can connect to the internet. You can get data directly from internet. You can connect to your uh, Outlook Exchange account. So I'm not going to spend more time here, but you can come later to this link and explore what here could be interesting to your company. There's another thing that I did mention here is that this chart is about where these connectors are available for different tools. So we are using Power Query. We are talking about using Power Query in Excel today, but Power Query is also available in Power BI and other like Power Apps, other, other tools, Microsoft technologies. So not all connectors are available to you in Excel. Here you can see that not all the Excel versions will have the same connectors available. For example, connecting to PDF, that it's also very useful, you can only get it if you have a Microsoft 365 subscription. From Excel Office 2016 on, Power Query started to come included in, in, in Excel. So it's it's already it already comes with Excel. Before that, 2010 and 2013, you will have to install it separately. And there's a lot less features. If you are planning to use Power Query, I strongly recommend you that you use at least Excel 2016, preferably a 365 subscription if you can, because it just keeps improving and improving and adding more new features.